welcome one and all, welcome. Once again, they're Nelson Lugo. And that douchebag is Shimmy Narclo. Terrific, we did this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome, welcome your first performer at Nerdapalooza proper. Are you guys psyched or what? I'm, I'm really excited, I'm really excited. This, this next performer is the greatest rapper of all time. On this stage currently. He is also from Cleveland, Ohio. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for MC Cool Whip. Thank you, Shaper and Luca. Hello, I'm MC Coolin. I'm the fucking first performer of Nerdapalooza. If I fuck up, the whole festival's gonna fuck up. So, I'm hopefully, I'm gonna do good. And if I don't do good, everyone's gonna pick up the fucking slack. Anyways. The opinions of this artist are not the opinions of Nerdapalooza itself. Okay. Anyways, so once again, I'm MC Cool. Welcome to Nerdapalooza 2011. I'm going to do rap music. Yeah. The first song I'm going to do is a little intro track called Float On Mr. Whip. Um, I'm sure you can figure out what the samples are from if you play rock band or no music. So, yeah. Remember, don't try this at home, kids. I am a professional. They call me Cool Whip, the walking bad example. When I go to Costco, I eat all the free samples. Got a handful of rhymes and a lot of silly jokes. What Cool Whip is good for you. Call me Egg Yo. Go to old folks' homes and be in them at Checkers. I'm even better than Ted. Get to play a job back or double decker bologna sandwich. Sounds really savory. Rappers going out of style just like slavery. Keep me the club popping like a little red and mock. Your girl knows all my raps, yo. Nah, shocker, you'll be humming my songs like you. Or I'm gonna steal the only mic you got is when you work at the track to drop it. Tons of knowledge. Call me Cliff Clavin. Always misbehaving, but never seen the big clean shaving. My fans like with their hands side to side. Sit back and relax. I'm gonna take you for a ride. some of here and we're going to see more of again later on. 11 a.m. Um, in the morning. It's just Yeah, a little uh, early. Out way early. <laughs> in a nerd culture, you're like, let's stay up till 4 in the morning or 5 to play Diablo 2. Let's not wake up till like 2 in the afternoon. And like, people actually showed up to my set, which was very odd. I was surprised. It's 11 in the morning. I mean, I had to do sound check at 9.30, but yeah, that well, was I, way too early for me. Well, I, I have to say, after last year, it kind of doesn't surprise me them showing up, because... I mean, that's all, you know, one of the things I was going to ask about. You did the pre-party last year. Mm -hmm. graduated up the main stage this year. I mean... Sure did. So how's the last year been since that? I mean, has it... Is it there more of like a... Have you noticed more of a growth? or more people looking forward to seeing you this year? Like telling you they couldn't wait to have you here? Or? I had a couple people tell me that. I just... It's still... I don't know. I feel like it's still like underground a little bit. Like yeah. Some people know who I am. And it's people that... I know, but 
there's some people that I don't know that have been coming out to me and be like, hey, you did a really great set, and I didn't even realize that people that I don't know actually want to listen to me and hear my music and whatnot. I like it a lot. It's very <laughs> interesting, and I think that, you know, Every year, if I keep coming back every single year, it's gonna get progressively better and better. Right. You know, I started from like 2009. I did the, I just did an open mic. I did Helen Keller in space, and then after that, I did the pre-party, and then this year I did a main stage. So hopefully next year I'm gonna do headlining. I guess is the next the next guest. Yeah, or featured performer. Yeah, piece. sure. Why not? Yeah. Let's just bump it up. I'll talk to Hex. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> Make it happen, dude. Exactly. So. <laughs> <laughs> like you looked right in the camera, like make it happen now. Well, do I mean, it seriously. I would on. love I, it. I think you know, it'd be a blast. I mean, eleven o'clock is not a bad. I mean, there's a lot. of, I want to say about fifty people, fifty, sixty people showed up for that, and that yeah. was really eleven o'clock in the morning. That's definitely a good turnout for a first performer. Kind yeah, of thing. I mean, and it has to kind of help because you know I understand a lot of people don't like the earlier set or first performer set, but at the same time. You get it out of the way and done, the pressure's off, and you've got the whole rest of the time to check out everybody else here. Exactly, yeah. I've been checking out acts and, you know, going back and forth in my, you know, hotel room, and I mean, I, mean, I just turned 21 last last month, so I've been drinking. Oh, happy uh, belated birthday. Thank you, I appreciate it. But yeah, I've been, I've been doing that, so I've been drinking, and then I've been watching music, and then I go back and drink <laughs> some more, and then I'll go back and watch music, so it's been... It's been, switch uh, off. That's oh, it's cool. been fantastic. I love it. Cool. So what's um? So what got you into wanting to do this in the first place? I mean, just I was failing chemistry. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> I was failing chemistry, and what happened was she's like, "Well, you're failing chemistry, and you need to do that this extra credit, but you need to do something about moles, which is a." some kind of measuring system of chemistry. I still don't know what it's about. I don't give a shit. I passed the class. But I ended up doing a rap just out of just shits and giggles. Just yeah. Just like, fuck it. Let's do a rap. And I Got did it. Lose, so and people like loved it. It was absolute shit. Like I look back at it now, I'm like, how did I even come up with that? Like why didn't I try to cut myself afterwards? It's terrible. Absolutely atrocious. And like after that I'm like, I kinda like this for some reason. And I started doing like little stuff. I started talking to like Hex, and you know, he really got me into the nerdcore scene. Just I think he's like, hey, look, there's this nerdcore forum. You should join it. And I did a little bit of that, and I did. I started doing like local shows. Did a lot of rap shows. Like I live in Cleveland, Ohio. And yeah. Cleveland, Ohio is very ghetto. I don't want to say. I guess ghetto is not a really good word for it, but it is. <laughs> no, well. It's ghetto. So I do a lot of like hardcore rap shows, and I'm like singing about like, Helen Keller and like funny stuff, but it still like, has meaning to it, and they love it, especially if I have energy to it. So I think it's kind of like how I kept going on to it. I don't know. Yeah, that is something, I'm glad you brought up the energy, because, let me, a little, a word of advice, if there's anybody else out there attempting to shoot this dude performing, he has a move. tendency to go out in the crowd, yes, and you need to get the hell out of the way. Yes. Fortunately, I was already kind of out of the way, but, hey, baby. But, um, I don't even know what they said. I just want to yell back. Oh, I don't have a damn clue. Sure. I guess that juggle sign for all I know. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, I noticed you have a tendency to do that. Just out in the people. Just it's a bad. It. Just throw it's caution a, to the wind and just go for it. I don't even want to say it's a bad habit. It's a very, it's a very good habit. I bought like because when I did the pre-party, they had a wire, they had a wired mic and it had a whole bunch of range to it, so I could get out in the crowd. Pre-party, they gave me a really long microphone cord, so I can fucking go out in the crowd again. And then pre-party I actually bought a wireless mic for this performance so oh, I wow. could so I could run around in the crowd because that's what, that's that's fun like I don't want to be you everyone looking up at me on stage like I understand that like I'm a performer but I want to be like level with everyone else because it seems I don't know it seems like everyone gets a better vibe from it than when I'm standing on a fucking stage you're just yeah. looking at me it's yeah not you're bringing fun. them into the show yeah, when so. I, yeah. even and though they don't cool. want to be they're going to be in the show I don't give a shit yeah and it's cool for them because they see you coming it's like oh my god you know. Yeah, look at it. Like I, I felt like it was almost just photographers up front, and like I felt really bad because like I, I warned them when I was about to jump, but I jumped anyways. Like when I do the Helen Keller one, I'm like, I'm gonna jump now. Like you need to get out of the way. Cause yeah. I'm gonna. I don't hurt anyone. Like I feel terrible because photo equipment is expensive, and I don't want to break anything. <laughs> right. But like I can't. I can't help myself when I. It's just. It's another creature inside. That's something really stupid. It's another creature inside of me that happens when I when I do stuff like that. I go on go on the ground and whatnot and perform with people and I have so much fun doing it though. 
Oh yeah, I can't I mean, even it looks like it. You can tell. I mean, you're, I mean, you're just you're infectious to watch. I mean, I, like I said, that's the second year I've seen you. I've enjoyed the hell out of both. Of I'm glad. So, I'm glad you enjoy it. So I try hard. Like my recordings are on some on like a different level, and then like my live stuff is on such a higher level. I need to figure out how to like equal them out or get to that point. But yeah, my live stuff is like. I'll say it like it's fantastic, but I can't get to that in my recording yet. So right. I, had to, I had to work on it a little bit. Well, it's something I'm trying to figure out. Well, speaking of recording, did I hear during the set you've got a new one coming out or working on one? Or? Um, I'm doing stuff. I don't know what I'm. I have two. I did two new songs. I did the float on one, which is the float on with Mono's mouth. Yeah. Because I really like that song. It's my favorite song. And then I did one called Rap Grenade, um, which is also a new song. I don't really have any plans for a CD coming out anytime soon. And for my knowledge, it's probably going to be out next in Palooza for all I know. But it'll be... Just kind of slowly putting stuff together. Yeah, just comes. like, see, like, ha like I'll do a song and be like, that's great. And then I'll, like, I'll record it and be like, okay, I'll save that. And then I'll do the next one. And then like I'll have like a group of them. Like, okay, i got to make a CD now because I have enough tracks. But I'll do that. And like I've been fucking around with names for a little bit because I really like naming my titles. And I think the next one might be called My God, I'm Delicious. Cause I'll just be, it'll just be like me like eating Cool Whip. I don't know. I'm still, I'm still working it out. I don't know if that's gonna just be like a free thing or like, I don't. We'll, we'll see what happens at this point. I just been fucking around with names for a little while now. That's cool. Yeah, I have no plans in the near future for it. So yeah. Cool. Very cool. Well, we'll, um, we'll go ahead and head off. We'll just work and where everybody find you online if they want to hear you. Yeah, uh, I mean, if you want to find me, I got um, mccoolwhip.com. You know, Facebook, you can find me. I'm pretty sure I'm still on MySpace. I get emails all the fucking time from MySpace. So it's ugh, ridiculous. Facebook and mccoop.com. I thought MySpace went the way of the Civil War. I oh, deleted somebody's... my personal MySpace the other day, and it felt good. <laughs> it, it felt right. It felt like I was I was 12 again, and I'm like, I'm going to delete this MySpace. I, I got like, I ended up getting like 12 emails like in like an hour one day. And I'm like, dude, this needs to be gone sick of this. Like, right. Just over it. End of an era. Like, I remember when I was, I mean, I was born in 1990, so, like, just being, like, 13 and having a MySpace was, like, the coolest thing, and, like, I forgot I still had it until I started getting emails, like, recently about it, and I'm like, this needs to go. Right. Like, I'm sorry. Kill it. I got puberty. <laughs> I hit puberty, and I got facial hair, so, like, this needs to go <laughs> now. Forever. Please. <laughs> Done. Yeah. So, um, so are your, like, any shows coming up there on Facebook as well? I can see them, check them out there? Or? Yeah, I mean, once again, I don't, I don't perform out of Ohio mostly. This is, like, the biggest thing that I'll do out of state okay. for now. I mostly do, like, Cleveland, Ohio shows, which is, and for those who don't know, it's northern Ohio, basically. So I do a lot of Cleveland, Ohio shows. I do a lot of, like, I'll do either rap shows, like, hardcore rap shows, and I'll do that, or I'll do hosting gigs where basically... I will just, like, there'll be bands, like actual rock bands, and then while they're setting up and setting down, I'll do my rap stuff to get people there. Right. Because, like, you know when you go see a rock show, you're like, I'm going there to see one band. Like, that's what I want to see. Yeah. But, like, you're like, I'll see it, and then, like, I'm gone. But you're like, this guy's rapping. Like, I want to see him more. And all of a sudden, like, I do that, and then I get off stage, and someone else comes there, and you're like, fuck, I saved for another band. Like goddamn, like I'm, I'm like I'm like bait and switching people half Got the time. It. Yeah, I get paid for it, so I you know that's that's my job and that's what I do. So you know, I enjoy it though. It's it's a blast. Cool. So if you're online or in the Ohio area, in the uh, in the Ohio area, Ohio area. Awesome. <laughs> if you're in the Ohio area or online, feel free to find him. Thank you very much again for joining us. No problem, Michael. All right, thank Is you very Mike much. Is it Mike or Michael? I apologize. Either way, Michael's Michael's fine. I like Michael. We're going to keep Michael for the weekend. I like Michael, too. All right, I Michael's think he's good. a great guy. We're going to go check out more Cold Whip set. Let's go see what he's got. All right. Uh, oh, hi, hi. Thanks. Anyways, okay, so the next song is a new one. Much like that Float On one that I probably should have mentioned was a new song. This is also a new song called Rat Grenade. I'm sure we'll catch on to the chorus. It's a little more... I don't want to say edgier because it's not. It's fun. I wrote it and I'm like, I guess that's, I guess that'll work. So here that is. It's like that. You just you just stare down and let the eyes do the work. Your mouth might be saying, "Hey, we cool." Well, I'm try this right. No, we not. Watch the show. Nice to meet you. No, it's not. 
Can we turn up a little bit more music, please? I appreciate it. the same one. A couple things are going to happen. One, with this song, ruin all my rap cred. If I have fucking any. Two, my penis will rocket inside my body because this is so unmanly I can't begin to fathom this. I don't have a third one. I forgot it. Anyways, all the girls know this song, all the guys know this song, and we're just going to fucking dance. So if you don't know this song, you're fucking on it. Hey. Wanna hear the most annoying sound in the world? Yeah. I tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So I'll tell you what you want, what you really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So I'll tell you what you want, what you really, really want. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I really, 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 really wanna say that. Yeah. If you want what I'm used to, 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 Yeah. 
Sí, 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 sí,